Well, greetings once again. This is Dr. Bill Bailey, and this is the Handheld Hack. This is the netcast that talks about handheld devices. And I've got handheld devices all over the place here, but none right here in front of me. <laughs> As usual, when I sit down to do the netcast, I've got all kinds of stuff on my mind, and I don't have my handheld here in front of me, but that's okay. I use the handheld devices all the time. I've got the... Um, Amazon uh, Kindle Fire. <laughs> I've got so many running through my head here. I'm trying to think of them all. The um, ViewSonic V Tablet, and or G Tablet. I'm sorry, and uh, of course my phone, which is just about ready for an upgrade. So I'm about to upgrade my phone. I'm looking into that right now. Uh, all kinds of choices there, so that's going to be interesting uh, to see which phone I end up with. All right, so I'll keep you, I'll keep you in the loop on that. All right, uh, don't have a whole lot this week, but uh, did want to touch base with you because it's been a while since we uh, had a chance to get together. I do want to mention we are proud members of the Tech Podcast Network, TechPodcast.com. If it's tech. It's right here on the Handheld Hack, and I encourage you to check out all the Tech Podcast podcasts because we got some great programs out there with some super information that you need to take advantage of. All right, let's talk a little bit about the few things, and I mean few things, that I have for you for this particular netcast, and that is, first one, Google buys Quick Office. Now, I think this is going to be a good move for Google. Uh, Google Docs are fine. I like Google Docs. Okay. I don't use them a lot. Um, they're not exactly what you call packed with features, but on the other hand, that makes them light and, uh, you know, handy to use. So that's kind of nice. Um, but they bought Quick Office, which uh, I actually have on my uh, Droid X phone and uh, have used it a little bit there just to play with it. I, ha I don't use it a lot. I I'm just not... I don't do office-y kinds of things, you know, on my handhelds yet. Now, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. But uh, I just haven't done much with it. Now, the thing is, though, I think Google bought Quick Office to kind of position themselves, get themselves ready for the Windows 8 rollout that's coming and all the Metro apps and the tablet-based applications and all the things that Microsoft has planned in that area. I think Google wants to have Quick Office to position themselves uh, as a competitor against Microsoft, and they are a big competitor of Microsoft. So eh, we'll watch that and see how that goes. Now, the only other thing I've got for you this time is uh, tablets are hitting the handheld gaming device market hard. Uh, we're, I think we're, we're almost at the end of seeing proprietary handheld devices, and uh, that's, that's a new thing. That's, that's very different than uh, it has been because, you know, the Game Boy and uh, the uh, the PlayStation, what is it called? I'm not a big gaming guy. My son, uh, the Game Master, is definitely the big gamer in the household. He has all of them. <laughs> so, I mean, pretty much. Uh, so, he really keeps on top of this stuff. I'm, I'm not so much uh, a gamer. But, uh, I will say this, uh, looking at this article that I posted here, the quote from the article says over 38 million handheld gaming devices from Sony and Nintendo are expected to ship in 2013, next year, a maximum that is uh, significantly lower than the previous peak of 47 million units in 2008. So we're already seeing that curve drop uh, in sales. Uh, and this is their plan for 2013. I mean, this is what they're predicting is going to happen. So they already know that the market is dropping out from under them. And uh, that's that's got to be making some of their engineers and their salespeople and their top brass kind of shaking in their boots. But anyway, uh, senior analyst Michael Inoue comments, mobile devices will con compete with dedicated handheld gaming devices, meaning the tablets and things of that nature will compete against the handheld gaming devices, but select computer segments like core gamers and those individuals who do not want or have a smartphone or tablet, 
which is getting me fewer, <laughs> uh, will still provide some demand. The addition of mobile gaming is not necessarily a zero-sum situation. In fact, many feel there's plenty of room in the gaming market for both portable and mobile gaming. Now, we'll see if that's true, but the overall trend seems to be that uh, tablets and existing devices are eating into the specialized devices. Now, I know we got the Wii U coming up, uh, which is kind of not exactly a separate handheld device. It's more of a specialized controller. Uh, but even so, I don't know. I think this market has just about seen its best days for specialized handheld devices for gaming. However, I am expecting more and more to be done, obviously, with phones and with tablets in the gaming arena and some of the hardware that's coming out in those areas are amazing I'm telling you so uh, eh, interesting days ahead I guess is maybe the the best way to say that so I uh, hope you enjoyed the handheld hack netcast this time join us next time remember until then you're only as good as your last hack